Kim Cattrall has confirmed that she turned down an offer to make sex and The City 3. The sequel had long been rumored, but it was only this week that Sarah Jessica Parker revealed that she had been forced to shelve the project even after a script had been completed. The tabloids blamed Cattrall for holding up the movie, accusing her of putting pressure on the studio to greenlight other projects she was developing in order for her to sign on. Advertisement continue reading Bella woke to a at mail in line storm the only demand I ever made was that I didn't want to do a third film that was back in 2016, Kim Cattrall at Kim Cattrall September 29, 2017 Cattrall has subsequently fired back on Twitter by informing her fans that she had actually turned down sex and the city three a year ago. Woke to a at mail in line storm, she tweeted. The only demand I ever made was that I didn't want to do a third film that was back in 2016. Cattrall also threw shade at the much maligned sex in the city too, replying preach to a fan who complained the sequel was terrible. Sarah Jessica Parker had refused to out anyone as being responsible for the sequel plans being cancelled but could not hide her disappointment when speaking with the press on Thursday. It's over, we're not doing it, she told Extra. We had this beautiful, funny, heartbreaking, joyful, very relatable script and story. It's not just disappointing that we don't get to tell the story and have that experience, but more so for that audience that has been so vocal in wanting another movie. Getty Images earlier this year, Cattrall indicated that she was more interested in a sex and the city spin-off for her character Samantha Jones than a traditional sequel. Sex in the City 2 made nearly $300 million when it was released in 2010, despite being maligned by critics and fans alike. It would later have the dubious distinction of winning three Razzie Awards. Want up to the minute entertainment news and features just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our at Digital Spy Twitter account and now we're all set.